morning, everybody. It's my first sit of the season. I got to my tree about all set up about six, six thirty. Man, I had a heck of a start. Actually, I had a heck of a weekend. Me and my wife were supposed to come camping. I'm gonna try to turn around real slow. I was, I was ranging, getting my distances. So, Friday, I was uh, shooting my bow, and I was shooting those black eagles. And the vein, the veins started popping off. So I had to clean them up and reflect them. It took me all day because I had to re, I had to re shoot and sight my bow in and and redo the broadhead. Not only that, but the mount that I ordered for my phone. What's the wrong one? It's not gonna work. So I'm not gonna be able to get a kill shot on camera today. I'm very disappointed. Well, that was fun. That ended up being a uh, a three pointer. He had two points on one side and then a a main beam. He wasn't a legal buck. Too small. Even if that main beam was ten inches. Anywho, that that buck. I heard him in the. Uh, in the swamp. I thought it was a hog. And uh, <laughs> he walked out. I heard him again. And I looked over and I thought it I thought it was a doe. And I uh, ended up being a nice little three pointer. That made my morning. I mean I got tore up by mosquitoes. So this camera's been this my dad's camera's been set for uh about a week, yeah, it's been a week. And he hasn't had any deer pictures on it, literally. His camera's right there, and that buck was, buck was right over there. So just because you don't have deer on your camera does not mean that the deer are still there. So most of the deer were coming from that way. 
they were coming across. So I'm going to take my dad's camera around 11 and we'll put it over there. I'm going to reposition my, um, my stand. Just going to reset it. I'm a little, when you set up in the dark, you don't set things right sometimes. So I just need to, I want to turn it more that way. And that's a beautiful morning. It's just, just beautiful. I love being out in the woods. Oh man, I wipe a mosquitoes off me. All right, it's 10 o'clock. I really want to stay longer because there's some good feeding times. And I, I always end up messing it up. But, uh, dang, my boots are falling apart again. Um, I don't know how much longer those are gonna last. Anywho, I'm gonna move these cameras and uh, go get some lunch. In a separate video, I will show you how I hang my tree stand up to how high I get it. I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you how high I get. So, I use an aider, a 30 inch hot helium stick. I'm probably the platform I gotta be about 15 somewhere between 15 and 17 feet but like I used I used two hot helium 30 inch sticks and then I achieved that with uh, that aider now I could get that stick a little bit higher and but that'll be for another video I'll show y'all how I do that never a dull moment Literally, just looked at the weather <clears throat> so that way I could uh, lighten up my backpack. Usually where I'm at, when the wind picks up, guaranteed storm. Guaranteed that, that you're going to get wet. Sure enough, wind picked up and I took my jacket out. I'm not taking my jacket out anymore. Anyway, I'm almost to the stand. I'm trying to go slow because uh, about this time when I was doing the cameras, hanging them, I jumped up, I jumped two bucks in here. I don't, I don't know how big they were when I was doing it, but anyways, that's why. You gotta take your time. No rushing. Almost to the stand. This is the second time I'm getting rained on. No. Well, why is the weather man or woman always wrong? Every time you look it up. Jeez. I left my rain jacket in the uh, in the truck. Well, that won't happen again. So far, it's three o'clock in there. I haven't seen anything. Wind picked up again. And uh, been a little bit slow, but there's some like a miner coming up here shortly, so we'll see. Hoping some game moves in a hog or a nice buck, I'm gonna let it rip. So, just gonna wait this rain out, and hopefully, the deer will get up on their feet. 
Thanks, I'm ready. Well, it's four o'clock and it's raining again. I have my soggy potato chip. I don't know if it's a pack of hogs, but there's something definitely moving in there. They haven't come out yet. Real swampy in here. Beautiful spot. Not only if Mr. Big would come on out. Well, I got about 15 minutes left. The only, uh, I might be able to, I could probably still see back here a little bit. It's starting to, uh, starting to get a little bit darker. Anywho, I didn't see anything. Nothing came out of that further in the swamp. I think it was hogs. I could definitely hear them walking around in the... Yeah. Well, at least we saw the one buck this morning. And saw that raccoon. over yet that's it I'm done there's a buck right here anyways there's a buck bedded down in this in this palmetto stuff on the trail that I walk in Try not to blow him out. He's a young buck. Different one from this morning. better right down in that trail. Anyways, what I was getting ready to sit was, ow, I had to climb down. It got too dark in there. And, uh, I'm getting absolutely, hey, look at all the mosquitoes on my face. I can't take it no more. I usually, I usually sit right about this time. If I have light, but between getting rained on four times and the mosquitoes, oh, I can't take it no more. Anyways, hey, y'all have a successful hunting season. We'll see y'all on the next one.